what is the right credit score you need to have to become a police officer? Let's discuss. Hey, listen, before we get started, those gifts are still down in the description for you, the Getting Started Workshop. It's going to walk you through each stage of the hiring process. So you start off your application and your process correctly, plus all the hidden bonuses in there as well. Additionally, if you have questions specific to your hiring process, anything with your background, anything with how it's going to look, any questions that you want answered, reach out to me for a free coaching call. Both these are my gift to you. I'd love to help as much as possible. Now, what is a good credit score or what credit score do you need to become a police officer? And it's not as cut and dry as a certain number. It's I can't say that it's above 600 credit score and you're going to be good to go. What I will say is anything above a 700 is considered a good credit score and you usually don't have to worry about too much at that point in time. However, once you start getting below a 650 or below a 600, there's, there's going to be questions. And that doesn't mean you're not eligible. This Your credit score in itself is not a disqualifying factor. There's a few things police departments are looking for when they're hiring someone. One, they're, they're looking for maturity and, and commitment, right? Are you, are you committed and you mature enough to make sure that you pay your bills? Are you financially responsible? Could you be bribed? I've covered that before, right? The other thing is, is with that being said, if you do have a bad credit score, have you made chances or excuse me, have you made steps to, to increase or to better your current situation? And if you've shown that and say you've shown that for a year or two, hey, oh, we had some things going to uh, corrections or collections, excuse me, we had some things going to collections and, or we had some bills that were late or past due but we've got them all caught up. Now we're paying. It did affect our credit score and you go from there. Now, a lot of times, I shouldn't say a lot of times, 50-50 departments won't even pull your credit score, so to say. Um, some departments will say, hey, we need a credit report. Uh, we need an official credit report from this agency and you got to pay for it and you got to provide it to them. And it needs to be within the last 30 days. I've had plenty of agencies and departments say that. Then the other aspect is you, they could just say, hey, just list down on your personal history statement, all your debts and all your, your income and your debt to income ratio. And also they'll ask you a question is, have you ever had any bills sent to collections? Have you ever filed bankruptcy? Things like that. And what they're trying to do is if they see these marked as yes, then they're going to dive into, into those, those questions and they're going to dive more specifically to see if there's a disqualifying factor there. Opposed to the other agencies that actually ask you to pull your credit score, what they're going to do is they're going to look at your credit score. They're going to ask you for a full printout, right? They're not just going to ask you for the score. They're going to ask you for a full credit history score included, and you're going to provide that. And then they're going to review it and say, hey, you have a 600 credit score. What's going on here? Is your debt to income ratio off? Are you late on payments? When's the last time? Have you missed payments? Have you filed bankruptcy? They're going to look at all that. And when they look at all that, it's going to tell them, hey, what do we need to focus on? Or, hey, have you had collections? Have you are, are you currently in collections? Have you had collections? Are you on your way out of collections? Have you been completely delinquent? Have you had something repossessed due to the failure to pay? And that's going to build a an image of yourself that the department's going to use to determine whether or not your character meets the requirements that they're looking for in that department. Ultimately, there's no set number that says, hey, 300 and you're cut off. Some departments actually do give you a, a exact number, say, hey, anything above a 550 or below a 600 um, and you're good if you're above a 550 or, or, you know, the department would say anything below a 600 and, you know, don't apply. The The main reason for it is, is so that they they can really just gauge your maturity, right? They're, they can gauge your ma maturity and your commitment to, to following the rules and policies and procedures. And that's how they use your credit score in, in an attempt to, to best paint the picture of who you are as a candidate. So recap, 700 and above, no one's really going to be looking at your credit history or your credit um, 
credit score, they're just going to say, hey, 700, this person's good. Uh, they might still ask the question, have you ever had anything sent to collections? But even if you did above a 700 credit score, they're not really questioning it. Same with above a 650, they're not really questioning it too much. It's when you get below a 650 that they start looking a little bit more in depth into what's going on in your financial history. And like I said, there's a few reasons why. Mainly, they want to judge your character and your maturity, as I said earlier. But also, they want to make sure that they're not hiring a, a candidate or a new officer that's going to, going to cause an issue down the line, right? Is someone going to say, hey, my cell phone went missing and never ended up in evidence? Um, this person, you know, told me, hey, give me, give me 500 bucks and I won't rate you this ticket. That's, that's not the type of officers we want out there. So that's not the type of officers that they're going to hire. And I'm not saying that that would be you or any other person with a low credit score, but I am saying that that's how they evaluate it, right? If is, are you, are you financially irresponsible? That's the word I've been looking for this, this whole time. Are you a responsible person? If you're an irresponsible person, they're not really looking to hire someone like that. Law enforcement is an honorable and noble profession that requires a certain level of character and trustworthiness to go out there and, and do the profession honestly and reliably. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you're applying. If you Even if you have a bad credit score, if you can show for the last year you've been really making strides, you consolidated, um, you've made payments for a whole year, you're making overpayments or you're, or you've gotten everything out of collections and you've been doing really good for a while now, you're good to go. It's not going to stop you. It's just going to be another hurdle you need to jump over. And we can help you do that. First, by the workshop, the Getting Started workshop. That's down in the description. As I said, there's a bunch of bonuses in that as well that'll help out. And then if you do have a credit question or or anything in your background, but if you have a credit question as well, reach out for a free coaching call. I'd love to help you see what I can do to get you through the process as quickly as possible Can you so you can start working as a law enforcement officer, serving community, and making money because most people don't realize that we make pretty good money. So stay safe. As always, I'll see you next time.